Hello and welcome to a short video on the USB mod uh, for the SNES Mini. There's approximately 2,500 games on at present. Um, just ignore my dog in the background. As you can see, uh, the main menu is split into approximately 14 or 15 different systems. Um, if we just go through each one of them. To start with we've got the Game Boy games, uh, the original Game Boy, Advance and the Colour. Um, there's approximately 50 Game Boy games as you can see there's all with the correct box out there. Um, I don't think I'll go in and play any of these but as you can see there's quite a lot of Game Boy games. There's also the addition of a home button um, in some of the various menus that will take you directly back to the main menu or you can go back into the previous folder through the pipe icon so we'll go back to the main menu and we'll just see the Game Boy Color it's exactly the same as the Game Boy two pages of the top Game Boy Color games uh, the Zelda games uh, we won't go into any of these again we'll go back out there's approximately a hundred Game Boy Advance games these split into four separate folders uh, the Castlevania games there Crash um, uh, the Final Fantasy games if we go into some of the other folders see again all with the correct box art um, so I'll just go back to the main menu the Pokemon games there after the Game Boy uh, we'll just go through the system f uh, first we'll come back to the arcade games a bit later on we've got the Master System Again, I think there's three pages of Master System games, approximately a hundred overall. Again, all with the correct box art, as you can see. I won't go into uh, the other pages. We'll go back out again. And uh, the Mega Drive games, because there's so many Mega Drive games, I've split these into another sub-menu with alphabetical folders, each uh, with a Mega Drive character on it. Just to brighten it up a bit, to be honest. Uh, so if we go into Echo, which is the Skeeter sub, and as you can see, there's loads of Mega Drive games in here. So, if we go into the Sonic game, as you can see, um, um, each system has a loading screen now. And it goes straight into the, the first Sonic game. So, uh, we're not going to play any of this, to be honest. We'll just come back out. And... If we go actually back now, we'll go back into the sub menu where again, if you choose a different one, it's all in alphabetical order. So we get the C's and the D's and the E's in, um, in here. As you can see, loads of Mega Drive games. There's not every single Mega Drive game and every single SNES game on here, but rather the top 500. Um, also basically there's not too many sports games and not too many crap games on right so uh, if we're going to the N64 now these games can be a bit glitchy from time to time the N64 emulation isn't the best at present but uh, the majority of these games on here will run absolutely fine there may be a slight bit of slowdown, uh, just things like that basically. Um, so if you're going to Mario Kart 64, you get the N64 loading screen. 
and we'll just play a bit of this. So we'll just go into the game. So as you can see it plays quite well. So alright. Now we're off. A bit all over the shot to be honest. Let's see what we get here. That's not too brilliant to be honest. But why aren't I moving? What's happening? I don't know what happened then. I think it was user error. But as you can see, it's playing quite well. Um, it's pretty smooth. Uh, the music's quite smooth. Um, it all looks good. A bit of a red shell. We'll kill him. Right. So we'll come out of there. And. Uh, I think there's approximately 60 N64 games on here. Super Mario does run pretty well, as does the Zelda games. So we'll go back out to the main menu. And uh, the NES, again, because there's so many of these, approximately 500 games, have been split into a sub menu, each with an 8 bit icon on the folder. Again in alphabetical order, so if you just go into one of these, you'll be able to see again all the NES games with the box art, the turtles. So uh, we'll go back and again you just go into a different one. And it's quite simple to navigate to be honest. So we'll go back to the home menu. So we've got the PC Engine and the CD ROM. The PC Engine, there's a, I think there's two pages of games in here. There's a lot of decent games, a lot of games you've probably never heard of. But trust me, a lot of them are absolutely fantastic. If you're going to, we'll just try one. This is one of my favourites, Final Soldier. Again with the loading screens. So we'll have a go at this. This is quite a decent shoot em up. The music's pretty decent. And you don't die straight away like in some of them, it actually gives you a chance. As you can see, you can get some pretty hardcore guns quite quickly. Right, so I think that's enough of that. As you can see, it gets better and better. And I'm just about to die, so we'll quit while we're ahead. So again, there's another page of um, PC Engine games, there we go, so we'll go back out, we'll go uh, back into the main menu, so we've got the CD-ROM games in there, I don't think we'll play any of these, but there's a few quality ones in here. Uh, the Castlevania game, Rondo of Blood, uh, some great shoot 'em ups, the Gate of Thunder game, um, and as you can see, Sapphire and R type. So, yep. Yeah. 
And then we've got the 32X and the Sega CD add-ons. Approximately 30 games for the 32X. Again, I'm not going to play any of these. But, as you can see, there's a lot of good games in there. Back out into the uh, Sega CD. These games on the PC Engine CD games do take up a lot of room, so there's not too many of these on here. There's quite a few exclusive games, and uh, there's some updates of some Mega Drive games also, including the Final Fight CD game, uh, the Lunar RPGs, and uh, Secret of Monkey Island there as well. So we'll go back out there. And finally, with the systems over here, oh, there's uh, the Neo Geo, yeah. So there's the Super Nintendo and the, and the Super Famicom. The Famicom games are all translated into English, they're all with Japanese box art. There's four pages of these, as you can see, um, all the Dragon Ball games. Just go into another page. Some quality games to be honest in here again. So we'll go back to the uh, the home menu. And uh, the Neo Geo games. There's approximately 150 Neo Geo games. All with the Neo Geo artwork. Um, art of fighting games. Fatal Fury, the King of Fighter games as well, all the King of Fighter games, as you can see here. The Metal Slug games, awesome games. We'll try one of them, the arcade loading screen. This is a great game, you do die quite easily, I don't like to do anyway. Awesome soundtrack. Anyway, we'll come out there. So We'll go back to the home menu and then finally on to the arcade games. I'll just show you the uh, the Super Mario hacks first. I think uh, there's about 80 on here. They're all different hacks of Mario World, all with new levels. There's absolutely loads of them to try. I'm not going to go into any of them. But um, uh, there's two pages of those. just if you like, uh, obviously Mario World, there's lots of extra levels there to play on. So finally the arcade games, there's the arcade classic section which has a lot of the early arcade games. There's Arknoid, Asteroids, all the old favourites. Um, there's Frogger, Donkey Kong. Uh, there's my favourite Galaxian. I must have played it, uh, that for hours as a child. Right, and as so, we go back out there. And um, if we go to the main section, which is there again. There's lots of uh, famous arcade games in here. 
including the Simpsons and the Turtles arcade games. A few of these. As you can see, we'll try one of these. This is another mental shooting one. This gets a bit crazy. Lots of bullets flying everywhere. Oh dear. It's all gone a bit crazy. Oh, right, anyway, well that's that. That's enough of that. So, in the final section, uh, there's three pages of arcade games there. And the final section is the Capcom CPS section. This is definitely my favourite section. All with the arcade artwork there. Um, there's lots of quality games in here. Goose and Ghosts, original arcade games, Final Fight. Uh, uh, the Marvel games. If we try Marvel vs Capcom. I'm actually running out of time on my camera video. I've got three minutes so we'll try and get as many of these arcade games in as we can. Which isn't going to be many to be honest. But as you can see the arcade games do run pretty well. We'll go on the easy because I'm hopeless at these. Right. As you can see that plays pretty well, we'll come out there, we'll try another one, if we go into the, oops, no I didn't want to do that, we'll go back into Capcom CPS, sorry, we'll go into the second folder of games, As you can see, all the Street Fighter arcade games here. I'll try the third strike. Right, and as you can see again, this plays pretty, pretty well to be honest, in fact it's pretty flawless, I'm absolutely useless, seems to be jumping a lot, and punching into the air, oh dear, right, anyway, Right, so I'm not going to show you anymore because I've only got 30 seconds on the video to go. So that's the USB mod. Uh, I think it's pretty good. And thanks for watching. I'll just go back to the main menu. How do I turn this camera off?